back for day 18. Yesterday was a really good day, as you saw me running yesterday and stuff. So, yesterday I feel like was probably one of the key moments I'll remember because it was not only my first run, but it was very um, a good example of exactly how I should be living my life. <sighs> yesterday I was due to take the girls out to Blue Water and I live probably about 40-ish minutes away via motorway and so I agreed to pick them all up. That meant I had to wake up at 7.30 in the morning. Now that's the earliest I've woken up in a long, long time. And um, the reason why this is such a key thing for me is because I woke up on time and I got to my first friend's house slightly earlier than expected. You guys don't understand how big a deal that is to me because for the longest time I have had the worst punctuality possible. I don't know why but I think it probably started from uh, when I was about 17. I just stopped caring. Well I didn't stop caring, I just didn't care to be on time. It became worse and worse and the habit was just, it just became me. It seemed as that if you're not on time for things, it just looks like you don't care. And it became something really horrible about myself. And I started not turning up to see friends on time, not picking up friends on time. Um, just everything was really off schedule for me. And I just decided at the very beginning of this journey that it was the little habits that I hated about myself that I had to change first. And besides weight loss, being on time and having good punctuality was part of it. And um, so yesterday was a really good day because I didn't disappoint my friends and that was so important to me. And I feel like I impressed them and I most of all impressed myself. So what a great day it was yesterday. Uh, we went to Blue Water and had an amazing day. I walked my 10,000 steps as I said yesterday. And then after that I was at Nando's. No, but the first thing we did was I was really hungry by the time I got there. Because waking up so early means that you have to smart snack, uh, so you have to snack smartly, and you have to eat very small meals. Um, so yeah, it just you know a long day is quite difficult, but especially when you only have one thousand two calories, um, especially when you only have one thousand two hundred calories to really eat. So anyway, what was great was that I um, went to Costa and I had one of their low fat yogurts with granola. Uh, I wasn't particularly pleased to eat that because there was sugar and maize and stuff in there but it's okay, I had one of those. Then we went to Nando's and I had a salad. I had one of their Mediterranean salads and it's the one that comes with feta cheese and chicken. Um, I didn't eat most of the cheese and I just ate the chicken. Um, that again was another triumphant moment because I just felt like I didn't have to eat it. I didn't have to eat the cheese. Cheese and chicken was a bit too much. Um, and I left happy and it's just weird because you know I'm never one to leave food on the table uh, or on the plate and I did. Um, I didn't feel like I wasted my money, I felt like I had a good time with my friends and do you know perhaps this is really the beginning of me breaking that cycle and that train of thought where I feel like I don't have to hoover up everything on the table and I didn't. So what an amazing day. Um, what else did I do? Uh, oh yeah so when I went home I looked at the sky and I was like, wow, it's really beautiful, but I can see it getting dark. And I just thought, so many times I've wanted to do things and I just haven't because it was too dark. Or I blamed something or the other. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to anymore. So I got on my running shoes and I ran. And um, I didn't tell you yesterday, but I, in total, after I used mapmyrun.com, I ran slash walked about 1.35 miles and I think I did it in about 20 minutes or so so I, I think I ran probably about a third of that I think that made it 0 0.45 miles it isn't a lot but it was a great start for me and you know it's just I, I plan to go and do it again on Sunday um, my mum was shocked when I came back home and she was like where have you been I was like on a run she thought I was joking but the sweat told a different story so I was very proud of myself um, anyway, it's, let's see, it's day 18, well it's day 19 now, which means next week will be very close to day 21. And they say that it takes 21 days to train yourself to do something and it will become a habit. 
and um, perhaps we'll see on day 21 whether healthy living has become a habit and I do feel like it has already it was it actually on set very early on in this journey where I feel like I no longer want to eat the rubbish foods it might smell nice and I might look at it but there is something about unhealthy disgusting obviously wrong foods that I think I don't want to put into my body anymore and I feel like that's not really part of weight loss it's a part of my mindset about how I think about food now where I don't really see that as food and nutrition anymore I don't see it as part of my life and I don't want to do that to my body anymore so you know half the battles already been won for me I feel like um, so anyway, as I was saying about 21 days, is that I was watching one of Shanti's videos and um, I, it was actually a f not too recent one where she was talking about the 21 day challenge and I just thought, why don't I do one of those because it's almost 21 days and I looked and I was thinking about how I've come about in the last 21 days and what I've been doing well and I know I've been doing food relatively well exercise is on its way etc etc one of the only things that I've been really not doing well at all in is sleeping and you know it's been always very irregular etc so what I do want to do is do a 21 day challenge starting from next week Monday I think and I know it's going to involve sleep. I don't exactly know my guidelines, but I'll tell you on Monday. Anyway, it's been amazing. 18 days of extreme, you know, fabulousness. Um, I can't wait for my way in on Monday. I really aim for a seriously good weekend. On Sunday, I'm going to go for another run. Tomorrow, I'm going to farm the farmer's market. And then Monday, I'll also be shopping as well. So you see a few grocery hauls coming soon. Anyway, have a lovely weekend, everyone. My life is changing.